Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Mass 90 200 Tips and Tricks Episode 5 Credit Card Processing with PC Charge. Uh, I'm Michael Gilson with Clients First Business Solutions. Okay. Uh, as I said before, this is Mike Gilson. I'm a mass consultant with Clients First. I have 22 years of distribution management ERP deployment experience, four years of Mass90 implementation, several uh, involving PC charge and additional modules other than the core Mass modules. Today's objective is to show you how to automate your credit card processing for increased efficiency and time savings. Today's agenda, uh, we've already done the introduction. Um, basically, we're going to show you what is PC Charge, how does it work, what do you need to get it started, an overview of setup activity within Mass90 so that you'll be able to know what to expect as far as setting up your system to use the interface with PC Charge. I'm going to show you how orders are processed with PC Charge and also applying payments to open invoices using PC Charge. And at the end we'll have a question and answer session. Now one thing I do want to note is that um, as we are resellers we are not um, set up as merchants. So in a few instances I'll be showing you areas where the PC Charge functionality if set up as a merchant you would have particular buttons, so um, you're going to have to trust trust me that those buttons will be there uh, where I say they will be once you've uh, activated the uh, system, but I will note that as we hit to those portions as to what you should expect to see in each area. Okay. So let's proceed. What is PC Charge? PC Charge Payment Server is a Windows-based product designed specifically to integrate with many uh, existing accounting systems. Uh, we use Mass90 of course, but you can also use it as a, um, a standalone device, and which is good uh, for instance if you needed to give a customer a credit for something and you didn't want to process it through Mass, you just wanted to post something to their card, uh, you can utilize PC Charge for that. So, uh, if there's a small credit and you didn't post it through to your your mass system, you could certainly do it through PC Charge. I'm going to flip over to PC Charge. Okay, here is PC Charge. Now, as you'll see, uh, this is the demo version for Windows, but along the top here you have different options where you can process credit cards, debit cards, checks, uh, benefits transactions, gift card transactions. If your business uh, does things with gift cards, you'll be able to, to do those. Um, all your end of day management is here, which will be closing out of your uh, each day's processing so that all batches get transmitted to the bank and that gets it into your account quicker, which in turn gives you uh, better cash flow. We also have uh, standard reports and you can have a, a customer database here, but those of you who will be using it mostly with uh, Mass90 really have no need to have a, a customer database, but it's here for you to use. Now, just a, a quick review. I wanted to just process a, a credit um, credit card. So I, could, I have several different options here. Um, I could enter my account number, okay, it knows based on the numbers what the card issuer is. So if I did uh, an Amex number here, it would pop up say Amex. It would know Visa, and Mastercard, Discover, uh, any of the cards that you're you're going to process. And what you'll do here is that you can enter the card member name as it appears on the as the credit card expiration date, the amount. You can also indicate a ticket number. Now, if that particular card requires zip code verification street address or the card verification value on the front of your Amex card or on the back of your MasterCard and Visa. Uh, you would indicate that there and you can do a process. Same areas you can do a credit. 
basically same exact functionality as a sale, but you could do a reverse uh, process a, a credit to account. And this is all really would just go through whoever you've already been with as a uh, as a tr as a merchant for. Okay, close that. Okay, I want to go over here to end of day. Now this is what you would be doing at the end of each day. Okay, if you have multiple merchant ID numbers, they would all be listed right here, center of the screen. And you would click on each of those to close the transactions. And what happens in mass, and we'll get to this in a little more detail later, but just to give you an overview, you can, at the end of running your daily sales register, there's going to be an option on the screen that says process credit card orders. And when you click on that, what it does, it writes actually gives you a report and also writes a file out directly to PC Charges data directory and once you see your merchant ID number you click OK it'll go through and grab all those credit cards that you've processed through mass and do the end of day processing for it uh, do the post authorization so on and so forth so that's all the other thing too that PC Charge does come with standard reports and um, these reports here, you, if you quick review, you got daily transaction summary, credit card detail, ACE, customer transactions, pre-settle and post-settle batches. So there's a lot of built-in reports here. Um, but I'll just show you what this one would look like. Okay, so what it's going to show you is for that value that's out there or that date range you put in there, okay, it's going to show you based on credit card type and amount the amount and then the quantity so it'll give you total sales in here any pre-authorizations that were done post authorizations credits issued any voids and settlements okay so what this will do is we'll show you all users all batches and all merchant ID numbers unless you specify a particular merchant number and we'll display here so it's kind of good to if you need to go back and see what you settled on a particular day you'll be able to see that based on each day credit card purposes or whatnot so if you want to do some tracking as to your sales or invoicing based on credit card uh, you can also do that too okay, close this out I'm going to switch over to Mass to show you what you need to do in Mass to get this going now we're going to be using uh, Mass 410 today and because it's the latest version and it's the one we're using most prevalently now uh, as customers do move up to it we want to stay on the uh, on the latest and greatest version okay most importantly okay a couple things I need to note to, to let you know about when you are considering getting PC charge let me just flip over to my PowerPoint slideshow here okay of course, you need to purchase and install PC Charge. You're going to purchase the PC Charge link for Mass90. Okay. Then you're going to set up your Merchant ID account with your bank. Now, what's important here is, sure, there are a lot of you out there that already are set up as a merchant with your bank. Okay. Using PC Charge, you are technically a e-commerce merchant. Even if you're not selling on the web, you're still considered an e-commerce merchant and you will need a new member from your bank so this is one of the things can take a, a little bit of time at uh, a client be able to get their code in a couple days and I've also had a client that took them three weeks to get their bank to issue them new merchant ID number for uh, PC charge and it's important that when you if you're considering uh, purchasing or using PC charge that you need to contact your bank let them know that you are going to make the switch to PC charge and you'll need the customary merchant ID number for that um, if you have multiple merchant ID numbers you'll have to get those also now the other thing you need to do is in mass 90 you're gonna need to set up credit card payment terms and what this will do is Under accounts receivable setup, under payment types, okay. Here you're going to set up. I'm going to set up 